Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today I have a quick lesson on route model binding in Laravel and one trick, one thing that you may miss and what to do with that. So this is a real scenario happened to one of our quick admin panel customers and I will show you exactly what happened. So they created a CRUD called CPU. A CRUD is a kind of a the whole thing for create, read, update, and delete of one model. So for example, there could be a model users, rows, permissions, or in, in this case it was CPUs for processors, for computer process, computer processing unit, I think that is. So yeah, CPUs. What could go wrong with the name CPUs? Uh, actually, it could go wrong because, uh, well, actually, first I will show you uh, visually. So if you add a CPU, this is a typical form for create, store, and all of that. So for example, you add Intel processor for some price, and it is in the table, and then you get the URL for edit. It's a typical resource controller in Laravel uh, with URL CPU slash X, well, ID, and slash edit, which is fine. Uh, the problem with that, that it comes empty for some reason. Then I started to dig deeper, and le now let's look in the code. So, it's a typical resourceful controller in Laravel, as I said, and edit function uh, comes with a parameter of CPU, uh, which is route model binding. So, CPU is a model, pretty typical Laravel model uh, using table, exactly, and if we look at the database, the database is also containing the information, so it's not empty. Uh, but uh, CPU isn't coming here for some reason. Uh, then we go to form, CPUs edit, edit blade, uh, and here we should have uh, value CPU name and CPU price, and that doesn't come for some reason. Let's dig deeper and do DD CPU. Uh, right. So it should, uh, by default, route model binding should work this way, so it gets this ID and does model find by this ID. But as you can see here, attributes are empty, so, so it means no model is actually found by that ID. Why is that? Because CPUs, that thing, is irregular noun in English language. Uh, and it works with this way. So this is route resource, typical route resource, uh, which should actually control the route model binding and bind the CPU as uh, as string to CPUs as model. The same happens with user controller. So for example, in users, uh, we have users controller and if we go to users controller here, uh, same here. So model user is bound and that should work. But trouble with that, if you get CPUs uh, as uh, URL part, Laravel is trying to get it to singular form and try s and find singular uh, model name with that. Uh, if we go to terminal and then let's do tinker. So artisan tinker and then echo str singular from users. So if Laravel gets plural URL users, it's trying to get the model user. But if it's trying to get str singular from CPUs, it is CPUs because Laravel doesn't know. It's not exactly English language word. So it's trying to find CPUs and that model isn't found and then the whole uh, the whole object isn't found. And the worst part is that you don't even have the error or, or nothing logged in Laravel log or anything like that. It would just come as empty, uh, empty object and doesn't throw any errors and that may cause even more issues. So if you try to update then God knows what can happen. So to prevent that, if you have some model with irregular noun, uh, irregular like singular plural stuff, or even non-English language maybe, I wouldn't advise that. But still, if you do have that, uh, the way you can fix that is route service provider. In route service provider, which is an app provider's route service provider, in boot uh, method, just uh, add route model. And here you have parameters, key and class string. So key would be CPUs. We are binding that to the class, CPU class. I think that should be correct. 
And let's refresh the page here and let's see if our model is actually found. Yep, so here we go, name and price is already filled, which means that our CPU model is found. So my message here is be careful with irregular singular plural uh, nouns in Laravel in English language and specifically if you are using route model binding like this one. Uh, if you have any exceptions, register them in route service provider. I hope it was useful. If you want more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. Also visit our sponsor, so to speak, our own product uh, to generate Laravel admin panel, which is quickadminpanel.com. See you guys in other videos.